Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, talk about a fireworks show. New pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope captured images of a cosmic fireworks show that's been going on for decades. The source of the spectacle is 7,500 light years from Earth in the double star system, Eta Carina. In the 1840s, it went through what is called the Great Eruption, which made it the second brightest star visible in the sky. It was so bright that it was used sometimes as a navigational star for ships in the southern seas. Wow, that's beautiful, isn't it? Well, back at home, we're going to have our own fireworks show here tomorrow evening, and the weather looks like it's going to cooperate as far as any rain is concerned. But outside today, we still have a couple of showers in our far northern counties. Otherwise, it's dry across the area. We're seeing 90 degrees right now in Corpus Christi, feeling like 103, that's 17 mile an hour wind and that dew point, it keeps climbing a little bit. It's up to 77 degrees today. You can feel that air that's very sticky out there with temperatures right now hovering close to 90 in many areas. However, fell furious at 96 degrees right now and right at the coastline. We're seeing 87 at Port Aransas. The heat index, what it feels like is over 100. We're at 104 feels like at Beeville. Ingleside feeling like 105 in Kingsville, 103. And the wind, well, it did pick up today as expected. We're seeing those winds close to 20 miles an hour in many areas and over the next several days tomorrow is still going to be pretty windy out there. Friday it starts to come down just a little bit and then for the weekend those winds start to relax slightly. We'll have nice breezes blowing this weekend but certainly not as strong as the 4th of July. So tonight dropping down to 79 degrees we'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies a breezy and warm night across the coastal bend and then for the holiday it's looking dry except for a stray early morning shower it looks like we're just in for a lot of sunshine in the afternoon. Those clouds will thin out and we'll end up with temperatures reaching into the low to mid 90s tomorrow. It's going to be hot and sticky for the 4th as that heat index climbs to 106 by 3 o'clock. It's going to be windy too. Those winds over 20 miles an hour between 11 in the morning all the way until about 6 in the evening. All right, these are the forecast high temperatures for the 4th then. You can see a windy day, 94 Robstown, Mathis hitting 96. And close, closer to the beaches, well, 88 degrees at Port Aransas, Corpus Christi, 93 degrees tomorrow. Speaking of the beaches, it is going to be windy for the 4th of July. The waves up to about 4 feet, and we have a moderate rip current risk out there. So be careful in the water tomorrow. It's going to be a little rough if you're going to be out at the beaches. If you're heading to the fireworks show tomorrow evening for the Big Bang Celebration Fireworks in Corpus Christi, 84 degrees when the fireworks start tomorrow evening. Warm and breezy and mostly clear. Good weather for the fireworks just a little on the breezy side, but not a problem there because that helps keep the mosquitoes off of you. All right, taking a look at our weather pattern. The last couple of days we were talking about that upper wave, which has given us that better chance of showers and storms. That is lifting off to the north now, and we have our big ridge of high pressure, very common this time of year. It's building over the area. It's going to produce a lot of heat, a lot of humidity, and dry weather here, except for that usual stray morning shower potential and maybe an isolated inland storm. That's about the most we're going to see for a while as that high pressure settles into the area. We're also going to have a lot of heat and humidity and the heat index every day all the way into early next week, climbing as high as about 108 degrees. So take care. Don't forget to drink lots of water if you're going to be out and about having fun for the 4th of July. Here's the seven day forecast then. The temperatures, they do come up a little bit more. The winds start to come down a bit. Temperatures are in those mid 90s through the weekend. Nights only dropping to near 80 degrees. And with those mid, even some upper 90s, if you live inland, we're looking at a lot of heat, a lot of humidity, but as I mentioned, not much rain in this forecast.